Hi, just a video to show you the uh, potential cable run from my lab to the new Bunker 2 electric boogaloo that I've got down in the basement here. So I'm outside my lab at the moment, you can actually see through the window. There's my uh, router and my all my ethernet cables and everything, okay, so there's my switch. And uh, so I could potentially run this to um, ethernet down to the bunker. So let me just uh, follow along here, let me pace it out. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve paces into the, um, th this is like the comms uh, cupboard on the actual level, which has all the twisted pair cables. Yes, I actually do have one of these uh, trunk cables, which has like 12 or 14 pairs in it going to my lab. And I used to run uh, VDSL internet over that, and I got 110 megabits. So I do have that going down to the comms room. So this is the cable that goes all the way down to the comms room there. That's the new NBN um, fiber internet, because I've got NBN fiber directly to my uh, lab. It's just uh, like the fiber actually goes directly in there. And um, so yeah, I could potentially run it over these cable pairs, but there's also, um, not sure, is there any ethernets coming up? I think there are a few ethernets coming up. I'm not sure, they, they might be running for other things. They actually run all the way up here like this. Oh no, not yet. Some are going into the, uh, the roof cavity up there. So it looks like some people have run ethernet for some uh, reason. So anyway, uh, this is uh, like the lift control and stuff like that. So, and there's a box up here. I believe this was an Optus uh, box because Optus have internet uh, fibre coming in here, but it's like, you know, thousands of dollars a month. I don't know if anyone ever used it, but uh, yeah, they've got some ethernet cable in there, so I'm not sure what the deal is. Here, um, I have to talk to the uh, company who handles all of the ethernet, uh, well, who handles all of the comms for this uh, building. But anyway, um, yeah, it goes down there. So for Emma, like, it doesn't look like there's much room <laughs> down there like to feed another ethernet cable down so that could be that could be uh troublesome <laughs> that that could be tricky so yeah um i, I don't know I'll, I'll just have to ask them um basically so uh yeah so this goes down five stories so i've got to go down five stories and i'll take you down there now and show you what's on the other the run on the other side this goes right down to the mdf room in the basement so here's the MDF room in the basement where it all uh, comes down. I've shot a video in here before. I might uh, try and link it in and uh, show you. By the way, I think that's where the air um, comes in, where my air's coming from um, because I've got ventilation. But anyway, that's the MDF room, right? So let me show you what's coming out of here. We've got the air duct, okay? So this is the air duct that comes out and this is the air duct that comes with it. Like they've got these uh, trays and stuff, which are, you know, the cable trays, which uh, run off. They don't go in the direction of my storage unit. So anyway, let me, so it was five floors down. So let me paste this out. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 paces to here. Follow it along. This is the air vent. There are no cable trunks coming here. And that, ta-da, that goes into my new Bunker 2 storage room. So there you go. Um, so yeah, however many steps uh, that was. So there it is, ta-da going straight in. So yeah, is it possible to run ethernet that length? I guess they could run it on top of the air vents, but yeah, I don't know. Let us know your thoughts, comments down below. Catch you next time.